This segment is proudly brought to you by 3P, the Wealth Creators, and Home Edge Finance, our experience, giving you the edge in home and commercial lending. Yasas, Ziggy here, and welcome to the finance segment, Money Does Grow on Trees, on GRTV. You may recall last week we spoke about having enough for retirement. How much do you actually need? Well, we asked for your questions, and boy, did we get a heap of them. We got one from Jerry in Mount Waverley, who writes, Hi Ziggy, thanks for the segment. What a great show. Keep up the good work, guys. His question is, what is the aim of a financial plan, and what should a financial plan have? Well, Jerry, that's a great question, so we're gonna cover that right now. Well, Jerry, what is the aim of a financial plan? Great question. The aim of it, firstly, is to show you how to manage your finances in the most efficient and effective way possible. The second point is the plan should be strategic. It should all be about strategy. And the third point is it should all be about advice advice that'll help you achieve your goals and objectives. Which leads me into your second question, Jerry, which is what should a financial plan entail? Now, in my view, it should entail seven things. Firstly, your goals and objectives. So lay out all your goals and objectives and everything that you want to achieve, short, medium, and long-term. The financial plan should deal with your inefficiencies, which is point number two. Inefficiencies in how you manage your tax, how you have your loan structured, Third point is recommendations. There are specific recommendations around property, around shares, around insurance, and around loans. Investments, okay, so this is where we're investing. How much to invest in property, the calculations so you know what you can afford. The fifth point is insurance. Now that you are investing, how do you actually protect yourself in the event that something happens to you through sickness or accident? The sixth one, which is very important, is your cash flows. Because now, money is going out to investments, money is going out in forms of insurance, we all have living expenses, so we need to do cash flows and projections to make sure that all this fits into your plan. The final point, which is an important point, but it's last for a reason, this point number seven is about the product. Now, from points one to six, we cover the diagnosis, if you like, or the strategy of your financial plan. Once we know the strategy, we know what's wrong with your finances, the products simply fit in to the strategy. If I can use a medical analogy, it's very similar to going to see a doctor. When you go see the doctor, the doctor diagnoses what's wrong with you, asks you questions, and once the diagnosis is made, medication is the easy part. Similar in financial planning. Once we actually know what's wrong with your finances, the medication, be it the products, are actually the easy part. So I want to ask you, do you have a financial plan? If you don't have a financial plan, I think it's very important that you get one done. In the same way that we plan our holidays, where we work out where we're going to go, how we're going to get there, how long we're going to stay, it's very important to have a plan in place for our finances so that we can achieve all the goals and objectives that we set out. A financial plan will give you three things. It'll give you clarity, it'll give you a peace of mind, and it'll give you the knowledge to be confident in your own decision making. So I wanna encourage you to get a financial plan done. Go see your reputable financial planner or contact us on the website below. We'd love to hear from you. Well, that's the show for this week and remember to email your questions through to me on the email address below. And if your question is answered on the show, you'll receive a free copy of my book, Money Does Grow on Trees. Well, on behalf of GRTV and Money Does Grow on Trees, I'm Ziggy, Yasas. Yes,